is to uh, facilitate a life skills group. So how do you get pieces of ID that you've lost? Uh, how do you look for an apartment, landlord-tenant relations? Uh, how do you prepare meals according to Canada's food guide? Uh, things along those lines, uh, roommate issues, what have you. So uh, Tamara was in my life skills group, and um, I mean, it was quite clear, you know, that you know, right from the very beginning, she participated readily. Uh, intelligent questions, uh, was quite observant, you know, quite a role model to have in, in the group. Now the group is 14 weeks long, and after the first two weeks, I get an email from Tamara, who, you know, she thanks me for everything that I've, I've been trying to do, but that she, um, she probably knows everything already, but I could possibly tell her, and, you know, I could check things out with her, her child protection worker if I wanted to, and uh, so I think, okay, that's fine, and uh, I think if you, uh, I, I knew that she was probably right, based on uh, what I had seen in those first two weeks. But if you uh, look at the bio that's contained uh, in your handout, uh, you'll see some of the impressive uh, track record that she's been able to put together. Uh, she's a scholar athlete. She's, uh, and these are details that aren't contained in the bio. She's a bit of a scholar athlete, uh, having won both academic and athletic achievement awards uh, together with your sister. Uh, Tiana, I believe you founded the first Native Student uh, Association at Cervantes uh, Secondary School. Uh, you're still working at McDonald's? Okay, after eight months, uh, she got a promotion and, and is now uh, instructing entry-level employees, I, think, I believe, right? And uh, now the Honduras experience is, is quite impressive, all right? She went to, you went to a Honduras through your church, right? She didn't accept any financial aid whatsoever from the agency. She, she saved for a year in order to go to Honduras with her church, all right? And it was part of uh, an exposure to developing countries program. While there uh, at the different feeding centers, she would um, work with, uh, with children. Uh, while there and also in after hours, you would walk to the poorer neighborhoods and distribute food, I believe, all right? And you also visited women at the women's prison. All right. And some of them were our teens, right? All right. And, and uh, in some cases, they were there because they had to use violence in order to defend themselves. Is that right? Okay. So uh, I mean, that's that's fairly impressive. And um, and you're going now to the University of Ottawa in Aboriginal Studies. Is that right? I have every confidence that whatever investment you make here tonight will pay off in immense dividends as down the road. So I've been in foster care pretty much all my life. Um, and most of the support we just think comes from our foster parents. Um, but we forget that there are people in offices every day supporting us and helping us financially and making support groups like the Life Skills. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the awards. <laughs> Good Pat Hammond, please come up now.